Good morning. So today I'm going to show you something that completely blew my mind yesterday. Take a look at this. And what completely blew my mind was using artificial intelligence to create these amazingly beautiful images that you can see up on the screen now. All these images were generated in about just one minute and I generated them all just by using some simple text prompts. So I've split this tutorial into two sections. In the first section, I'm gonna show you how you can create your own beautiful AI images in just a few minutes. In the second section, I'm gonna show you how you can piece it all together to create a beautiful smooth scrolling one pager website. And if you want to have a go at doing this yourself, then in the description below, I've set you up a one click website with everything pre-installed so you can follow along. So this is the AI generating tool I've been using. There's a few out there now. There's one called Dali and Dali 2, which you might have heard of. This is called Mid Journey. I'll put a link to it in the description below. It's just so, so clever. And actually access it via Discord. So if you don't know Discord, Discord is like a sort of chat program, I guess. So you have to sign up for a Discord account. Now with Mid Journey, you get a certain amount of free goes at this, but you can take it for a trial. The paid accounts get quite costly. They're about $30 a month, but it's so cool that it might be worth doing. And then essentially what you do, I've got the, I've got the paid account at the moment. I paid up for a month just to test it out. You come into Discord, which is here, and you literally write what you want. So you start by, this is the convention you have to use. So it's slightly clunky. This will definitely get easier as they develop this tool. You type forward slash imagine, and then you basically write what you want. And you'll see your previous ones are appearing before. So I could write anything here I like. So you see in the ones before I've written fields of eggs, but I could put um, surfer storm, for example, like so, and then just hit return and it'll go off and generate that image for you, just like that. It's completely magic, your little image being created. And you can be really quite descriptive, quite verbose in terms of what you write here. That's what's really cool about this. You can get quite detailed. And here it is, here's my surfer in the storm. And then you can click on that to actually see it. And then you get some choices. You could either, if you don't like any of these, you can start completely again. See these little buttons appearing under here, U1, U2, U3, U4, that means upscale. So if you actually wanna use one of these, let's say on your website, and then you might upscale number one, for example, this lets you create variations of each one. Now we're numbered one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So let's say I wanted to upscale version one. I just click that little button down there and that's gonna create a larger version for me. There's some other conventions that are worth knowing about. So you can also do this. So you type imagine and then space and that the space gets you to the prompt bit where you actually write your stuff. So let's go surfer in tornado <laughs> i don't know why so you can do commas as well so you can do a whole sentence but you can also put commas in and one of the things you can do with commas is you can go hyphen hyphen ar which means aspect ratio and then you can go 69 and that's the aspect ratio because otherwise they're just going to be square and 69 is going to be a good ratio for you if you're using them on your website and here's the finished result for my surfer in a tornado you can then download them to your computers to use on your websites and here's some other ones that i put together over the last 24 hours because i got slightly addicted by it you can see the variance of these and how beautiful they are so this one i'll tell you the prompts as i go through these this the prompt was the words i actually put in girl taking photograph comma English landscape sunny day close up and these are the four examples it came up with really really lovely this one the prompt was photographer sunny English countryside photo absolutely beautiful again let's skip on a few more this is quite a funny one I think this was cat typing on a computer pretty cool uh, this one here I like this one I think was let's have a look yeah this is surfer on wave just seen there Lighthouse in background, sunny days, sailing boat on horizon, HD. You see I put commas in these to split up those phrases. Let's just show you a few more examples. Um, yeah, I like these. These are Mount Everest ones because I'm off to Everest in a few weeks, hopefully. This one is Mount Everest, man climbing, and then the ratio is 69. Faces here, these are the ones I actually used on the website. This one here is cat, don't ask me why. Cats, uh, cat riding a bike, oil painting in the style of an oil painting, so you can do styles. These are quite interesting, these one actually. I wanted some staircase in Escher style, the Escher artist, and it came up with those. This one, these are Gutenberg blocks. These ones are quite cute. These are girl playing guitar sticker. So you, these are looking like stickers, aren't they cool? I mean, they're just so beautiful. These are some of the ones my daughter did, who's a musician and wanted some artwork for her, an album she's working on. 
This was, somebody requested this on Twitter. This is elephant made out of blocks. It's just astonishing. I mean, can you imagine getting an artist to make one of those for you? There are just five simple steps to get a one-pager website up and running. They're up on the screen now. If you do want to do this yourselves, maybe pause the video at this point and jot them down. I'm gonna talk you through each one step by step though. But they are choose a blank page template, Number two, build your navigation. Number three, add those jump links into your page and your navigation so when somebody clicks on a menu item, it automatically scrolls to that point in the page. Number four, we're gonna create a smooth scroll effect by using a free WordPress plugin and also that little back to the top icon, we're gonna add one of those by using, again, a free WordPress plugin. And then finally, once we've finished, we're gonna set this page as our homepage in reading settings in our dashboard. The first thing I'm gonna do is to choose a blank page template. Now, lots of themes come with a blank page template that you can utilize for a one-pager. If you're looking for a theme that does this, then the 2022 theme is a great choice. It's completely free. So you just create a brand new page, as I've done here. Make sure you click on the Page tab over on the right, and then you're looking for this template option here, and then you'll probably get a drop-down, and one of the options in here hopefully will be blank. As I say, if you're using the 2022 theme, that will be the case. All that does essentially is create your blank page. Then you can lay out this design any way you like. The second thing that we need to do to create this one pager is to add the navigation along the top here. You'll see it's along the top. And I've had a lot of people ask me an easy way to add a background image behind it when you're using Gutenberg, and this is one way to do it. So this is my page. I'm gonna start by adding the cover block, and I'm just gonna drag it into my page across here, and I'm gonna choose my background image. Now, what's nice about the cover block is that you can put stuff behind it like images. So I'm gonna choose this photo of Everest, but you can also put other blocks within it. So it's kind of ideal for putting a navigation block in. Now, when you first start with the cover block, let me open the list view so you can see, it'll start with this paragraph block for you, but actually we can override that by typing forward slash. So I clicked into the paragraph block, then hit forward slash navigation like so. And that'll just dump the navigation block within it. It's in the wrong place, but that's easy to fix. Just click using the list view, click on cover, and use the little cover matrix up here where you can position where elements go within that. And I think I'm gonna stick it centrally up there at the top, which kind of works well. And then the only other thing I need to do with this is to click full width. Step three is to add the jump links within your page. So when somebody clicks on the menu item along the top, they get taken automatically to that section within the page. There are just two things you need to do to get this working. You need to create the link in the menu and then you need to add the target within the page. This is how you do it. So I'm gonna add one within this page. I'm gonna start by adding a, another menu item to my navigation block up here. So I'm gonna call this About Us. So I'm just literally typing in About Us and hitting this little submit arrow here. That will actually add that as a name, but it's not linked correctly yet. So you click on it and click on the little link icon in the toolbar here, then click on the pencil and this is where you actually put the link in. So what we need to do here is put hash about. And then we just need to make sure that the target within our page uses about as the anchor. So we come down here, we're gonna add the heading block by hitting forward slash and heading. Then we're gonna put in about. And then all we need to do in advance down in the bottom right here is this HTML anchor. We need to make sure that says about. We don't need the hash in there, so don't add the hash. Just add the hash in the menu. And now when we click on About Us, it should automatically take us down to the About Us section. And then steps four and five are super easy. Step four is to add two free WordPress plugins. The first one is Page Scroll to ID, this one here. That means when somebody clicks on a link, it'll do that lovely smooth scrolling effect. It won't just jump down straight away. And then the second plugin has this one, WP Front Scroll Top. That puts that little icon arrow at the bottom of the site. So when they go to the bottom, they can click on it and it scrolls them up smoothly to the top. Step five is the final step. We just need to make that page your home page. So to do that, you just go to reading settings and then at the top here where it says your home page displays, uh, just choose this option, a static page. And then in this drop down, you choose the page you've just created and that will set that page as the front page of your website. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, if you can hit the like button now, it would really, really help spread the word of the channel. If you want to see more videos around Gutenberg and WordPress, hit that subscribe button below and you'll be notified every time I release a new one. Keep well and I'll see you soon.